Today is a day of cooking with Coal Cracker. Today's recipe is something that has become a favorite amongst instructors here at the Appalachian Bushman School, and that is called a Mississippi roast. But we're not from Mississippi. Now typically what we have done in the past with this stew, roast, whatever you want to call it at this point, is we take our Dutch oven, we put all the ingredients inside, put it over the campfire and we just let it cook all day. So as we come back into camp, we feed the fire and then by night, the stew is done. It's absolutely, oh, it is amazing. But because it's only lunchtime right now, I thought I'm gonna try something new and that is this contraption right here. This is a campfire pressure cooker. It's called Man Grills. I've been playing around with it recently. It literally, it's a pressure cooker. This is definitely gonna speed up our cook time. All we have to do is load everything inside of here, put it on the campfire, and then let it go. Now for this recipe, you are going to need the following ingredients. Meat. In my case, I'm using a London broil, but you can use any cut of meat that you would wanna use for this. We've done it all different ways, and it has been successful every single time. Just make sure it's a big, juicy chunk of meat. Carrots, potatoes, au jus gravy mix, ranch seasoning mix, pepperoncini peppers, and water. Oh, and about a half a stick of butter. Add the carrots. Add the potatoes. I'm gonna add about a half a packet of ranch down on the bottom. Same for the gravy mix. We're just gonna sprinkle that right in. About a half a pack here. Now our peppers, you can either pull these tops off, which I like to do as I go because that way I don't have to worry about them inside the stew. What I also like to do is add a bunch of this juice. I think this adds awesome flavor to it. Now my nice big hunk of meat. A little bit more as you mix. More ranch mix. I am going to throw some butter in there because that roast is pretty lean and we're going to put some water in. Now all the ingredients are inside this contraption so we put the lid back on. We take this and this just tightens back on top. We can just place this onto the fire then and it'll begin cooking. Or it's going to blow up and kill me. I mean either one. All right, so we're about a half hour in. What you can do with this is you can take this off um, just to give it a little stir, hold it to the side, and then just give it a roll. So really easy stuff, gives it a good shake, gets that stuff moving around on the inside, and then back on the fire. What we got going on here now is it's all done. You wanna make sure that the pressure, of course, is released. So I sat it off the side of the fire for a little bit before we got going here. Take this off. Lid off. Ooh, yeah. Now, if it wasn't cooked, which it is cooked, we can put the lid back on to cook it more. But this is, man, this is one hour. So I ended up cutting it short, but it is definitely a thickened up nice. And it's also, uh, the meat is literally falling apart. I'm gonna show you inside here, but yeah, this is amazing. Now just remember, portion size, of course, if there was more people at camp. Yeah. We want more food in here. That look awesome or what? Look at this. With the spoon, it's just falling apart but now you know every food review needs to uh finish off with meat a little bit so let's get a pepper on there let's get some potato some meat delicious as always so ingredients the same we just cooked it a different way today 
but um, this is gonna work no matter how you wanna cook it. If you're gonna try out one of these things, these men grills, or if you are gonna cook in a traditional Dutch oven, it's gonna work fine. You can even slow cook this at home. I know a lot of people message me that they make these recipes at home. So you can put this in just a slow cooker before you leave for the day, throw everything in, forget about it, and it's gonna be absolutely awesome when it um, comes to chow time. So definitely give this recipe a try, like I said. We love this at the classes. Um, the instructors make this all the time. It's one of our favorite things. Nice and spicy and delicious. So uh, give it a shot and tell me in the comments what you think about it after you eat it. So, this is down walk. I'm gonna talk with my mouth full. No, I'm not gonna talk with my mouth full because everybody's gonna leave a comment about it, but I'm gonna go definitely eat all of this. Like one sitting, I'll eat three pounds of meat. So uh, give it a shot. All right, till next cooking with Coal Cracker, stay in the woods.